charter schools and all these things are prepping for this 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 new uh, neighborhood type of system that's in place. Mm -hmm. uh, but what is actually happening is it's sending poor people onto a reservation. It's almost like the Indians, as far as I'm concerned, because there's no new development for poor people. Um, uh, we did have to move there, Casey, but fought it off uh, with the support of NAACP that they came back with a thing called RAD. And with that RAD, uh, no one has to move, but we moved from Casey to Casey. Uh, but uh, that's not the case in a lot of cities um, with uh, where HUD is given the property to housing authority. Folks is having to move and don't have anywhere to go. And so, Pastor, <coughs> what we're saying here is that uh, some of the policies that have been followed mm -hmm. dealing with housing has led to uh, the removal of a large number of individuals who might have been in public housing, mm -hmm. but now they are no longer in public housing, and so they're in a real sense almost on the street. Talk about well, it from that perspective. There are, there's, a new, there's a new homelessness mm -hmm. out there that exists now as a result of Nashville's growth. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I, I appreciate the positive side of the growth of Nashville mm -hmm. and everything with all the development. You know, if we can think back, you know, seven, eight years ago, uh, during the uh, past presidential administration under Bush, you walk, you drive around Nashville and you see foreclosure here, foreclosure there. I mean, the housing market was just, just down, you know, and people losing properties and stuff like that. Now, with all this growth that's taking place under this current administration, and, and Nashville is truly, truly booming and growing, and all the construction and everything, uh, but this housing market that's uh, here now is pushing a lot of people out of housing because a lot of them are not unable to afford housing you know even with the section 8 uh situations and stuff like that you got people that had properties that had their property certified for section 8 uh occupancies now that uh all this growth is taking place some of these homeowners are taking money as mr zerker had, had alluded to earlier in our conversation before uh, and uh, uh taking monies and and uh Re renovated their properties, what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. and, and as a result of that, they're putting it, they're getting market value for the properties. And so the people that would they have would have normally rented those properties mm -hmm. under Section 8, they are unable to find it. And I work with the homeless mm -hmm. and I've experienced people with certificates, uh, Section 8 uh, mm -hmm. uh, certificates, but cannot find housing. Housing that would, that for the would, price of those certificates that they have. Yes, absolutely. Yes, uh -huh. absolutely. Because so many, you know, the housing market is, is, is just so high right now, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, or is it good to say, I mean, can we say that uh, most poor peop individuals mm -hmm. in town have been priced out of housing uh, and mm -hmm. therefore they're almost homeless? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yes, they're, they're been mm -hmm. priced out of housing, they're almost homeless and some of them are homeless. You know, you get calls, man, from where I work at, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a woman and her children and stuff looking for somewhere to go. Mm -hmm. She's got a job. But she can she can no longer afford to stay in the place that she is in because <coughs> the landlords are seeing the up the rise mm -hmm. in in the market value for rentals, <coughs> and they're raising these rents up to the level where people cannot pay them. Mm -hmm. and then you've got people that's coming in from bigger cities and stuff like that that's used to paying high dollar rents, and then the rents they paying here yeah. they're actually saving, saving. the money. Mm -hmm. Whereas we're looking at it, man, this, this is an escalation in the cost of rentals in mm -hmm. Nashville, but these people are coming here renting because they're actually saving money, whereas we're seeing it, mm -hmm. the, the prices, and it's pricing other people mm -hmm. out. Okay, and we're going to have, uh, we've got 30 seconds in, in, in this uh, particular segment. But when we come back, Mr. Zerker, mm -hmm. what we want to do is to look at uh, some of the uh, proposed solutions to some of the issues that we have and, and we'll have 10 minutes to deal with that but great. we're going to start with you and anything that you have or your knowledge in terms of how we might be able to deal with that mm -hmm. this is when we want that information to come out That'd and we'll be back with our audience following this very very short commercial break
Section 8, which is a, a set amount of money That's that right. the government can pay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they give you $200 or $300 for, for an apartment, oh, yeah. and you ordinarily could have taken care yeah, of that, right. but now that they go back for five. Well, yeah. what about raising the amount of money? Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, is, that a, is there a possibility? No, no, it's even worse than that. They okay, just, well, they're, you're not, gonna, they're not written to a Section 8. Well, you, well, you hold it. <laughs> okay. Hold it. Because yeah. that's yeah. what we want. This, yeah. is, this yeah. is the time that we want that it's, out. Yeah. We're going to have 10 minutes. Yeah. And when okay. we come back, I want you got five minutes okay. to lay out as loudly and as fast as you possibly I'm can. give you some solution stuff. Yeah, that's okay. what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, sir. Just speak up. Oh, man. I got you. I got five you. minutes and then yeah. you, you grab yeah. the next five minutes okay. and you speak up okay. and we're going to try yeah, to do I, this. I want to talk about the significance, you know, because you, you said something about fighting against moving out, so they're moving from Casey to Casey. Yes, sir. And that's that's not been the case. The, nowhere. The other places that, around. This is the only place. really significant. Yes, it is. Okay, well, anything y'all have and, to say about that? that yeah. was one. Mm -hmm. got through, 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. That was one through fighting off what they had, the revitalization. Everybody had moved. They were going to tear down the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And where were we going? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I see. Uh, yeah. That's what that's Thank you and welcome back to the final segment of the show today. We're talking about the growth of Nashville and uh, how the housing population uh, in Nashville. And, and Mr. Zerka, let's see if we can talk in terms of some of the solutions, okay. in terms of some of the issues that we've already talked about. How, how do you see it from your perspective? Good. Um, well, this is a booming town. This is an it city. Uh, the revision of, uh, of this city um, with all the major developments is here. They have a 25 year plan. Uh, the East Bank in itself, they're talking about 12,000 units. This is a whole lot of major development. Uh, there's no, if you look at the, uh, the, the uh, builders, the uh, contractors, the uh, uh, construction workers, uh, you don't see certain folk out there that are carpenters, plumbers, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, roofers, uh, bricklayers, all the things that it takes to build a house. You go around this town and you'll see that there's uh, discriminatory uh, faces. Mm -hmm. There's, it, it, when I was coming up, they had high schools where it was, you came to school mandatory, but you could go to shop. You could learn how to be a plumber, mm -hmm. learn how to do these other things. That one of the solutions is to get back into some of that. They've got a thing where maybe you go to job corps, uh, uh, through Martha O'Brien. I think that's one solution of it, but it needs to be a bigger thing. OIC, you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. I was a, a product of OIC. I became a welder and a first class welder overall, uh, but that was, that's a solution. Uh, one of the other problems when it comes to new development, and there's no new development for poor folk, mm -hmm. um, if you look around this city, with all this, these uh, crane, I'll call it Crane City, mm -hmm. with all the cranes that are going up for hotels and for, for all this new development, but there's no revenue, uh, or should we say crumbs from the master's table uh, that could trinkle down in 2% or 3% that would help support new development for poor folk. Mm -hmm. This real estate here in the city is booming, and so uh, the greed, uh, is preventing uh, our new mayor, mm -hmm. who uh, who was commissioner over uh, the homeless uh, uh, for uh, for a spell before she became my mayor. I've I've shared with her my concerns, uh, but they would spend so many million dollars on a sidewalk mm -hmm. because of, of a child who uh, mother put a, a little posting on it saying we need better sidewalks. Mm -hmm. They jumped right on that. But, uh, when they talk about better schools and even a superintendent. Now they're willing to pay from 160000 to 380000 for a new superintendent. All these things are part of that rezoning and, mm -hmm. and all these, but, it's, but the solution still has to be uh, for the least of these mm -hmm. uh, because that's, that's, what, uh, that's the Christian way, mm -hmm. and in God we trust. And so uh, uh, the poor, yes, will be with us always, but we need to look at the poor and, and, and bring them along with us. Mm -hmm. The Section 8 is uh, the slum lawyers. They are 
borrowing money and fixing up their places. Yeah, I think it was a place called Howard Garden. They advertised everybody's lease was not being renewed. Mm -hmm. That's going on all over the city too mm -hmm. because they're redoing their properties so where they can get that market value rent. Mm -hmm. And then you have like the Barnes Funds um, where they're inviting folks into the city, which is 55,000 area medium mm -hmm. income. You're talking about gentrification, the haves and the mm -hmm. have less, not the have nots. Mm -hmm. And so the solution to some of these problems are to inc be inclusive. You know, they call it integration now, mm -hmm. you know, because of the folks who's moving back into town. Mm -hmm. But it's still uh, 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 a gentrification. It, 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 yeah. it leaves a large number of uh, individuals who are not as uh, wealthy or as, uh, financially yes, financial, able, yes, and even uh, Section 8, which at one time was able to sort of uh, provide oh, absolutely. funds for individuals to rent to out support that. these, yes, sir. but now, uh, then I rent to and, and I would imagine, piece of paper. has the money in Section 8 gone up any in terms of, uh, the, the money is available, but, uh, and they're giving out vouchers left and right, but people are saying, I mean, you know, they come to me all the time, where can I do? you know where I can find a place to live? I'm saying, I'm sorry, that's a Nobody problem. Nobody can afford uh, none well, of the owners. Well, they're not renting to, to, Section, to 8 folks. Section 8 folks. They're renting to these folks, and they're being compensated 20% by the bonds for funds mm -hmm. uh, with the with their have less. Mm -hmm. You know, but what about the have nots, the $9,000, $18,000 a year incomes? Mm -hmm. They can't afford this mm -hmm. your type of rent, you know, and they're being forced out to, by the way. Mm -hmm. Pastor, is, yeah. Pastor Walker, talk, speak to that. Yeah, you know, it's, when you talk about the poor and people need to understand, we're not talking about just people just broke, don't have any money, you know, and we talk about uh, affordable housing, you know, mm -hmm. uh, housing that people can afford. You know, you got a lot of people that are living right at the poverty line level or just above it or slightly below it. And people that are working jobs, Dr. Haney, and still cannot afford, you know, the high cost of rentals mm -hmm. that's, that's going, you know, and just consistently and continuously it begins to escalate and people just can't afford it so they're being pushed out and then at the same time you know wages are not increasing um, mm -hmm. affordable housing developments are not going up but there every time you look around there are more and more and more of the high dollar rentals mm -hmm. and, and what's going to happen when you get to a point where you got all this property out here all these rental places out here mm -hmm. and you can't rent them mm -hmm. because the people here are not making the kinds of monies mm -hmm. that's needed to rent these places and then, then like i said you're pushing a lot of people out into the uh, the streets and they're becoming homeless and they're the working homeless they got they got jobs they're not drug addicted they're not mm -hmm. they're not they're not having the, the some of the typical issues that people have when they're homeless mm -hmm. they're just people that can no longer afford to live where they're living even you know it, when you don't even consider Section A, if you just take Section A off the table, you got somebody that, that's working and been paying their rentals and stuff like that and not on Section A because they had a job that's paying enough money to be able to afford the mm -hmm. places where they've been renting in the neighborhoods where they've been accustomed to living mm -hmm. in. Now, with the changes in these neighborhoods and the high cost of rents in these neighborhoods, and you got so many people who are buying houses now as opposed to people buying them and flipping them in terms of selling them, mm -hmm. people are buying them, renovating them and turn them into rental problem properties because the high cost of rentals around here so people are able to make money of course you know you pay for your property that you bought mm -hmm. you know through the rentals and stuff like that so it's a win-win situation for everybody except those the uh that's not making the money on, yeah who they, depend on being able to live in those houses absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and, and something else he said that was significant and that was uh when when it with Casey moving out of Casey into Casey because when they when they tore down John Henry Hill and, and the other projects in mm -hmm. East Nashville and Preston Taylor and stuff like that, people had to move out. And then the criteria to get back in, so many of them no, couldn't move back yeah. in uh -huh. and had been living there for years. Mm -hmm. So then they create these neighborhoods way out. Mm -hmm. And you uh, Cane Ridge area all the way down in there. You go around these streets, mm -hmm. no Ice street lights. And, and they put them in these little isolated mm -hmm. communities mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. away from everything. If you don't have transportation, mm -hmm. you don't get out of there because there are no bus, no, no, uh, mm -hmm. no bus services out there. So, you know, it, it's, it's almost like you're... you're the reservation type thing yes. that you, you you mentioned to earlier yeah. mentioned mm -hmm. earlier you know mm -hmm. and it's it's a sad situation and mm -hmm. something you know something needs to happen i don't know what's going to happen but i can envision at some point 
you're going to be dealing with some ghost town type of situation mm -hmm. because you're going to build all these structures and stuff and you're not going to have the people mm -hmm. that's making the kind of money, money that these things call for. Yeah, uh -huh. absolutely. So, uh -huh. you know, it's something's got uh -huh. to give on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You uh -huh. over, overpriced and uh, have the house is so priced that the individuals who need housing yeah. can't afford to buy them yeah, or, or, or to rent them absolutely. or whatever and et cetera. And so. yeah. Okay, and, 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 and finally, uh, Mr. Zerka, uh, yes. you, we've got about a minute. Some final comments in reference to this. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, as a final comment, 